कम बैक टू दू चैनल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट मी लॉगन विद क्रेडेंशियल एंड विद दिस जस्ट मी कम बैक ओवर हियर क्लिक ऑन दिस चेक बॉक्स एंड देन क्लिक ऑन अगर इन कंटिन्यू नॉट जस्ट मी कम बैक ओवर हियर क्लिक ऑन द टास्क नंबर वन एंड फ्रॉम हियर जस्ट मी कॉपी दिस नेम केयरफुली जस्ट मी कॉपी लाइक दिस वे कम बैक ओवर हियर नाउ हियर जस्ट मी सर्च फॉर इट नाउ हियर कैन सी इन द मार्केट प्लेस यू कैन सी दिस एपीआई जस्ट मी ओपन दिस सिंग न्यू टैप कम बैक ओवर हियर वेट फॉर सेकेंड नाउ Now click on this enable button. So we are done with the task number one. Now what you do? Just me copy this name carefully. Just me copy like this way and make sure that you do not copy this last full stop. Just me copy like this. Come back over here. Now just me come back to the dashboard and from here just me remove this API. Now here you can see documents AI. Open this in new tab. Come back over here. Wait for a second and then click on this create custom processor. Just me click over here. Now here you can see custom document extractor. Just me click on this create processor and now for the name just me paste over here. Now here you can see region. If you just me come back over here and if you are able to find a different region over here, you can just me continue with that. Otherwise you can just me continue with the US region. Now what you do? Just me click on this advanced option. Now here you can see I will specify my own storage location. Just me click over here and from here just me click on this browse. Now just me click on this create bucket. Now for the bucket name, just me come back over here and from the task number three, just me copy this name carefully and make sure that you do not copy this last full stop. Just me copy like this, come back over here and just me paste and then click on this continue. Discontinue and discontinue. Now uncheck this checkbox and then choose a fine grid and then click on this continue and then click on this create. Wait for a second. Click on this cross and then click on this select. And it's done. Now click on this create button. Now just simply wait. Now here you can see data is created. Now just simply wait for a couple of minutes. And it's finally done. Now if you just me come back over here and click on this check my progress and this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Now for the task number four, what you do? Just me come back over here, copy this thing carefully. Just me copy like this, come back over here and then click on this build. Just me wait and now here you can see import document. Just me click over here and from here just me paste over here like this way. Now here you can see we are getting this error. Now what you do? Just simply slide over here. Now just simply remove this. Let me just zoom in for you. Just simply remove this GS colon and forward slash like this way and now here we will get a green tick and once you get a green tick over here and from the data split you can see it's 
mention as unassigned. So just simply choose unassigned and then click on this import. Now just simply wait. And as you can see, it's importing. Now, if you just come back over here and click on this checkmark progress, you will not get a score because it's importing over here. Meanwhile, we will continue with the task number five. Now, I request you please watch the video carefully because this task is little bit tricky. So, what you do? First of all, we have to just copy this name carefully, come back over here, and then click on this get started. And now click on this create new field. Now just we paste a name over here and now for the data type it's mentioned over here plain text. So we are not going to make any changes in the and here you can see occurrence for all occurrence we have to just simply choose a required one. So just simply from, click over here and from here just simply choose required one and then click on this create. So we are done with first label. Now copy this name carefully again click on this new field just we paste a name and for the data type it's number. So just simply choose a number over here and for the occurrence it must be required once and then click on this create so we are done with the second now copy this third click on this and just paste over here now for the data type it's plain text so we are not going to make any changes over here now for the occurrence it must be required once and then click on this create so we are done with this as well now copy this thing carefully come back over here click over here and paste now for the data type is plain text so we are not going to make any changes over here now for the occurrence it must be required once and then click on this create now again come back over here copy this name come back over here click on this create paste a name now for the date the data type is date time make sure that for the filling date it, the data type is date time now just simply click over here and from here just simply choose that now for the occurrence it must be required once and then click on this create so we are done with this as well now copy this name come back over here just simply click over here and this and for the data type it's plain text so we are not going to make any changes and for the occurrence it must be required once and then click on this create so we are done with this uh, copy this thing come back over here paste like this now for the data type it's plain text and then for the occurrence it must be required once and then click on this create so we are done with this label as well now copy this thing come back over here click over here paste now for this it's number as a data type so just simply click over here and from here just simply choose number now for the occurrence it must be required once and then click on this create so we are done with this as well now copy this thing carefully come back over here click on this create paste now for this the data type is date type so just simply click over here and from here just simply choose a date type now for the occurrence it must be required once and then click on this create now for the last copy this thing carefully click over here now just simply paste over here and for this it's plain text so just simply come back over here and this is a plain text now for the occurrence it must be required once and then click on create now once you're done with all this thing just simply cross verify this thing with this both the things must be same if it's not you will not get a score on the task number six if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch as you can see it's done now task number seven is very easy what you do just simply come back over here click on this build wait for a second and then click on this manage data set just simply wait click on this and then click on this assign to set and from here just me choose a training just me click over here now if you just me come back over here and click on this check my progress you will not get a score because life take time to update a score meanwhile we will move forward to the task number eight now what you do again copy this thing carefully come back over here now here you can see import documents just me click over here now here you can see just me choose a cloud storage just me click over here and just me paste over here now just me slide over here and from here just me remove this gs colon and forward slash just remove that and once you get a green tick over here now for the data split you can see it's mentioned auto split so just simply click over here and from here just simply choose the auto split and then click on this import now just simply wait until this to get complete
and it's done now if we just come back over here and click on this check my progress let's see we get a score here or not and as you can see we got a score now task 9 is very easy just me copy this thing carefully and make sure that you do not copy this last full stop just me copy like this come back over here and then click on this train new version and just me paste a name over here and then click on the start training now just me wait and once you see this kind of output now if you just come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a score over here no need to worry because lab take time to update a score meanwhile what we will do we will check the score for the other task and as you can see we got a score for the task number nine without any issue just simply wait and watch And as you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.